Yeah. YouTube, what's good? Back with another video, live and direct from the parking lot of the gym. Uh, just took this pre-workout, waiting a few minutes, let this shit sink in, and then I'm gonna go in here and we are gonna do back. Back, maybe shoulders, maybe some legs. We'll see, we'll see how I feel once this shit kicks in. But today, I wanna holler at y'all about staying in your own lane. Stay in your lane, all right? Because I know far too often these days, you get online, you see what somebody else doing, you see the success other people having, the cars, the clothes, the hoes, I suppose. <laughs> but where they at right now, like I said, Instagram, social media is a highlight reel, all right? It's just the highlights, what they doing, where they going, all types of shit. But they're not showing you the, the work that they putting in, these people who got this money, and they're not showing you the dark side of what they're doing, you know? Some some people is just showing you that, but really inside they might be miserable. They might be fucked up in the head. They might be going broke, but they still showing you this shit that they doing, but they, they going broke, spending on all these lavish parties. They ain't sending, they ain't saving no money, they just splurging. And that's their life to do that, but don't go off of somebody else's uh, life. You know, go off of your own shit. You know, stay in your own lane. Focus on what you're supposed to be focusing on. And then while you're doing it, enjoy the process while you're going through it. If you in the process right now of getting into real estate or, or YouTube or whatever the fuck you're doing, enjoy the process. Enjoy the heartbreak. Enjoy the, the fucking hardships you're going to have to go through. Enjoy the, the two uh, the two view video watches and shit like that. Enjoy all that shit. Because once you explode, once you get to the pinnacle where you're trying to be at, you got something to look back for. You got something to look back on like, damn, I was really, I was really grinding right there. I was really, I, I still remember the feeling of when I was going through that. Like I still remember and it'll humble you when you get to that point, you know, it'll keep you grounded. Like, damn, I remember those nights I was up recording four or five, six videos. I remember them nights where my bank account was, was negative. Eighty dollars and shit like that. I remember them nights. I remember when I I didn't know when I would be able to pay that that light bill. We might be lighting candles in this bitch. I ain't know if I'd be able to have gas to go to work. I might have to get a bike. I had to run to work tomorrow. Remember that shit and and keep that with you. You know what I'm saying? Stay in your own lane and don't and don't base your success off of somebody else's success. Understand yourself and know what the fuck will make you happy. You know what I'm saying? You might you might see motherfuckers with binge trucks, lamb trucks, diamond grills and shit like that. And that might look like success to you. But is that success to you? Is that really what you want? You want the diamond grills? You want the, the lamb trucks? Maybe you might just like a, a hard ass uh, Ford F-150. You might like a Raptor. You know what I'm saying? You might like a tricked out Prius. You know what I'm saying? Who knows what the fuck you might like? But that's up to you. That's success to you. Success to you might be uh, comfortable, just being financially comfortable in the suburbs somewhere, out the mix, just making your money. That might be successful to you. You might not want to be out and doing all this shit. That's what I'm saying. What they present is just the highlight reels. That's not realistic. That's not your life. That's not what you need to be focused on. Focus on what you need to be doing, right? Next, and that goes into pocket watching. Don't pocket watch. Don't be pocket watching people. Don't be worrying about what somebody else is making. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you doing, if you're in a business where you might be already set up where you're making money and stuff like that, don't be pocket watching what everybody else is making. You know what I'm saying? So for example, if, if you was an actor and you in a movie with four other actors, and you might think you better than them, who cares? But A, uh, actor A may be making 100K, actor B may be making 40, C may be making 20, and you may be making 10. Don't pocket watch what they got. They got that because they got that. Focus on what you got. Your little 10K, focus on that. Focus on being the best actor you can be in that movie so that you get better opportunities to make more money next time. Right? Instead of pocket watching somebody else hating 
upset, like, man, I'm better than them. I deserve to get the fuck 100K, bye bye, and ruining the opportunity for you to progress in your craft. Right? You can't be pocket watching. Pocket watching is, is that's what women do. That's what women do. Pocket watching. We really go off of, uh, men, we really we base our shit off of the results we see. Right? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what kind of barber you are. I don't give a fuck if your shit is in a closet, nigga. Are you the best bar? Are you the best fucking barber that I know? Compared to the nigga that's in this big ass luxurious ass shop with glitter and bitches twerking and fucking rainbows and all kinds of shit. But the 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 work you giving me suck. Or I go to buddy over here who work in a fucking shed, uh, work out of a storage unit. He cut my hair and it's the best lineup, crispiest, drippiest shit I ever seen. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't go off of what, what you perceive. Just go off of what you can do to be the best person that you can be. Right? But going into my next part, kind of piggyback off of all of this shit. But don't hate, just wait. Just wait. Don't hate, just wait. Wait your turn. It's not your time yet. Alright? Don't be so in a rush to, to get to where you think you're supposed to be at or where you feel like you're entitled to be at or you think you deserve to be at. Nah, just wait your time. It ain't your time yet. It ain't your time yet. It ain't the opportunity you needed yet. Don't be so greedy. Don't be so quick to try to be in the position you think you're supposed to be at because the more impatient you get, the more mistakes you're going to make. You might end up Doing some shady shit, doing some shiesty shit, doing some shit you might end up regretting in the future because you were so impatient. Right? Take your time, enjoy the process, go through your, your struggles and shit like that. Keep your head down, keep grinding. Patience. You'll get there when it's time for you to get there. And you'll do it honorably and you'll do it what is good in your spirit. Alright? So don't hate and don't be hating on these dudes that's already there. You don't know what the fuck they went through to get there. So don't be trying to downplay them or, or talk shit about them because they there, right? It's the same thing like we see a nigga in the gym. Might, <coughs> might have been working out for 20 years, but motherfuckers on the internet see him and be like, oh, that's steroids, that's steroids. Not knowing the work that he put in to get that body. Even if he did do steroids, you still have to put in the work to get to that physique. You still have the diet and all that shit. It's not like you take a shot, go to sleep for seven days and then wake up and you shred it. No, nigga, you still gotta put in the work. You know what I'm saying? But don't people just so quick to discredit you and hate because they didn't do that. They didn't put in the work. They jealous, hating on you. So just keep, keep that in mind, all right? So don't hate, just wait your turn, all right? Don't be sitting there downplaying shit like money isn't everything. It ain't everything because you broke. It ain't everything because you broke. Nobody said it's everything. Shit, anything ain't everything, motherfucker. But it's still, you would still rather have that argument from the side of a nigga with money than the side of a broke nigga. Right? And last thing. Last thing I'm gonna say before I head up in here, because I'm I feel this bitch kicking in. I, I'm about to start rolling in this motherfucker. But last thing, impact over following. Right? Try to make your impact stronger than what you may think your following should be. Right? Cause this motherfuckers who might have the so-called following, the 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 millions of followers, the, the eyeballs, the whatever, but their impact isn't as strong as yours, maybe. Right, and not even because let's just say some people may buy their followers, or another thing, some people might just have the following because they're famous, but they haven't done shit, you know, in the industry as an impact that somebody else who may have more followers than them, or might have more followers than you as well. See what I'm saying? So, like, an example that you could probably relate to is in the workforce at, at work. You know, you might not be the supervisor of the said whatever you're working at, right? You might not be the supervisor, but you may be the one that everybody comes to for the information, for this, that, and the third, the know with all. You might be the subject matter expert at such and such at, throughout the building, you know what I'm saying? But you're just not the supervisor. 
So your impact is bigger because you affect more people than the supervisor who might have just got the position because he just has a degree. You feel what I'm saying? Same thing as in the army. A lot of times the, 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 uh, the officers, the commanders, the lieutenants and stuff like that, they're just in that position because they got a degree and they went to be officers. But a lot of times who you're gonna listen to in the field is gonna be your first sergeant. It's gonna be your sergeant major. It's gonna be your sergeant first. It's gonna be everybody who got boots on the ground, who got time in, who's been deployed and all that, who got the, the experience, right? Now you do run into some officers who've been deployed and stuff like that, you know, but usually you'll run into a motherfucker who's the same age as you, they just went officer and they're in charge of you, but they don't have the experience, right? So focus on making your impact stronger instead of worrying about the following you have, right? Make sure that your impact makes a difference and that when people do follow you, they always get something out of it, right? But that's all I got for y'all right now, man. Until next time, yo, it's Wolfgang Peak. It's Wolfgang Lifestyle. And I'm out.